rise to find there. Good morning, uh, blessed Sabbath. We will open our uh, divine service in hymn number 316. Hymn number 316.
understanding and we we'll open our Bibles and we have we are, uh, we we'll look for our key test in the verse uh, John 13 verse 35. John 13 verse 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one another. Amen. To those thoughts in our mind, we will down for all the Lord. Heavenly mercy of the Father, we are thankful for this opportunity. We are thankful for this summer day that we could be here together, that we could pray together, that we could study. So Lord, we are thankful for the protection of the way here, that we keep us safe. We are thankful for this uh, beautiful church that we could worship together. So Lord, we are thankful for Jesus Christ our Savior. We are thankful that we are here together. O Lord, please give us, bless us, and lead us. Please give us strength and wisdom in everything. Please encourage us that we could do better, that we could be more faithful, that we could be better witnesses to you. O Lord, we need you in everything. May Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, dear friends and visitors, I'd like to welcome you all here in this uh, beautiful place. It's very nice to It's nice that we could be here together, that we could study, that we could encourage each other, and that we could share with you the salvation. Uh, we will uh, have a few announcements for today. Uh, we have a uh, Actually, just uh, this afternoon, we will have a young people meeting. We were supposed to start at uh, 3 p.m. So, if anybody has some items, if anybody wants to do some presentation, please contact uh, Sister Susan. Maybe you could stand up at uh, So, if anybody wants to participate in something, please uh, contact Sister Susan. And uh, we will. Uh, you know, God help, we will uh, have a nice young people meet. Uh, for now, we will uh, invite our ushers and we will uh, collect the divine service offerings. And please, uh, we're renting this place, so there are expenses, so please, uh, if you could help with uh, today, we'll be greatly appreciated. So we could invite uh, maybe. Brother Dolly, what I'm going to
I see from the viewers, and they use for me to the world. Uh, now we invite our children, and they will have a special song for us. beautiful songs and uh, remember always Jesus loves you and now we'll uh, invite the speaker for, uh, for the hour we'll invite brother George and he'll have a sermon entitled uh, following his footsteps brother George Dear brothers and sisters, dear children and children and youth, and all of you, welcome to Ottawa and welcome in, the, in this church. I'm so happy to be here and to spend this time with you. Uh, praise the Lord for this opportunity and um, I'm not worthy to be here, but please pray for me and uh, because we need the Holy Spirit to be here with us in this moment. Uh, so welcome again. We are so happy. So I hope that this event is just the first here in Ottawa. Amen. Only the first, right? And to have more and more with God, with God's help. Uh, first of all, I want to see who is from Toronto here. Please rise the... Oh. Thank you so much. Who is from Puslinch? Good. Thank you so much. Who is from Ottawa? <laughs> Who is from other countries or other, <laughs> other cities? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, who is from uh, Montreal? Correct. Correct. Somebody else? No. So, again, welcome, brother. Welcome here. Today I would like to talk about following his footsteps. I want to read a verse. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. So, it's visible for everybody? Yeah. For everybody, right? 1 John 5, 11. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lies in wickedness. Right? So all worlds, so everywhere we go, everywhere, what we see, is, is it heaven or no, everywhere. All the world according to what is written and all the world lie in wickedness. And in this world, we try to survive, correct? We try to survive. And we develop something that we call Self-defense, right? Self-defense. Do you know what means self-defense? We try to protect ourselves. 
Because we look and say, look, everybody's. And we try to protect our families, with ourselves. Self-defense. We de developed something that we call self-defense. In the, at school, we have that, self-defense. Sometimes we try to avoid people, right? Oh, don't talk with that, don't talk with him, don't talk with her. In the church, sometimes, we have this self-defense. Self-defense. At work, and sometimes in families, too. Sometimes in families. I have a question for, special for children, but that not only. So what is this? Hmm? First, let's, let, first of all, let's see, it's a plant, a seed. A gadget. Well, what is this? Let's see who know what is this. Hmm? Nobody? Okay, yes, please. Man, he's an encyclopedia. It is true, it's an animal. It's an animal <laughs> from Africa, right? From Africa. And God's gift him a natural shield, yeah. right? And if you want to touch him, or if you want to play, doesn't matter if you have good intention or bad intention, he will do like that. Self-defense will protect. Self-defense. Can you see from that corner? It's okay. Do you? You cannot see. So self-defense. And he will stay like that for a few minutes and after he will check if you are still there and again back. With other words, I don't want to talk with you. I don't, don't leave me. Just leave me alone. Is the message, correct? This is the message. Just leave me alone. You know, this is a, a good case. Sometimes uh, animals, they, they develop a self-defense system like that. And this is a little bit worse. It's not just leave me alone. It's if you touch me, you'll see. Right? You'll see what happened. Just pay attention. Take care. Take care with, with me. This is the message, correct? Uh, <clears throat> I want to, to read something for you. Because I think at some point, this self-defense system sometimes is good, but sometimes is bad. Matthew 22, verse 39. So Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as your thyself. Right? So now the question is, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Maybe my, in the family, maybe in the church, right? Who is my neighbor? It's a very interesting question. Let's see what is written. Christ Object Lessons, page 376, paragraph 1. Among the Jewish, the question, who is my neighbor, caused endless disputes. They had no doubt, pay attention, no doubt, as to the heathen and the Samaritans. These were strangers and enemies. Enemies. So yes, we have neighbors, we need to love our neighbors, but exceptions, Samaritans, right? This question Christ answered in the parable of the Good Samaritan. He showed that our neighbor does not mean merely one of the church or faith to which we belong. It was no reference to race, color, or class distinction. No difference, color, race, class distinction. Our neighbor is every person who needs our help. Our neighbor is every soul who is wounded and bruised by the adversary. Our neighbor is everyone who is the property of God. Give me one word, who is my neighbor? Or just not only one word. Who is my neighbor? Everybody, right? So, what is written here? Our neighbor is everyone who is the property of 
of God's peace. But sometimes, sometimes we judge, no? It's in our hearts, it is. We accept that in theory, but practical. And I will, I will give you a test right now. Please pay attention, it's a test. Special for youth, for children, but not only. Just to recognize colors. Transcendental, you know this test, so please keep quiet. I have here a cube, right? So I will, I will ask you a few colors. So please, special for ladies, don't answer me with uh, Navi, these kind of colors. Navi, Burgundy. It's, it's too much for me, right? So answer me with red, blue, yellow, and green. That's it. No more. Okay? So pay attention. Answer me, what color is this on the corner? So again, this, this, and this. What color is this? Blue, correct? Correct. Thanks so much. Next, what color is this? Yellow, right? Very simple. Again, this is blue. blue. This is yellow. yellow. Let's put them together just to be sure. Look, what color is this on the corner? Blue. blue. And what color is this? Yellow. Yellow. Do you have any doubts about that? No. No doubts, right? See, come on, brother George, this is for children, just to recognize color. We, we, colors. We know colors. I, I ask you again, do you really believe your eyes? Do you really trust your eyes and your brain? It's 100% sure that that is blue and that is yellow? 100%? Yes. Hmm? I hear there incurring some doubts. Mm, maybe it's not. Maybe it's... No, no, look, I will remove all the colors and I will keep only these four squares, right? And this seven from here. Pay attention. I, I, I will not change the color. I will not touch this. I will remove everything. I didn't change them. What color is? Hmm? It's gray. So that you told me that that is blue, and this is yellow. I go back. You, you cannot believe it. the eyes. So you know, come on, brother. It's, it's blue and yellow. Believe me, it's the same color. It's the same color. The difference is only in our brain. Because of the context. You see here, yellow, um, red, and you, your brain tells this is blue for sure. This is blue for sure, but it's not blue. Do you get it? I didn't change it. It's the same. It's the same color. So the difference is the context. You, need, you see, brother, sometimes we have, we judge according with what we see and what we know, but not all the time according with the reality. According with the reality. Sometimes we judge according with what we see, what we know, our, according with our uh, education maybe, but not all the time according with the reality. <clears throat> Okay, I will I'll tell you something to, to explain myself, what I want to say. It was uh, in a natural reservation. You know what is a natural reservation? With animals, with monkeys. And at some point, <clears throat> it was a man there trying to fit a monkey. And the monkey took the food and after she looked at him and she attacked him without reason. That event was um, recorded on camera and after they tried to analyze what happened, what, what happened, why the monkey attacked the man. And after days and days they thought maybe the monkey is sick. No, no, she was completely normal. And they realized something. When the man, it's a very interesting experiment, when the man gives the food to the monkey. 
He laughed. He smiled, right? He smiled. And when we see, when we see him, right? For us, it's something nice, right? But please pay attention, not for monkeys. For them, if you show them how your, see, for them is threatening, right? Threatening. For them, it's something dangerous. Oh, you show me the teeth. What means that? He's my enemy. For her, it's this. But for us, it's something nice. And in the jungle, they have only two options. Fight or run. Fight or run. We don't have two, uh, a third option. We have the third option, right? We say, let's talk a little bit. Okay, so let's talk. So, but they, they don't have. So, you see, the monkey judge him according with her knowledge, her knowledge, right? But not according with the reality or according with the truth. What is the truth? Bro? What is the truth? Hmm? What is the truth? Because sometimes we, we Prejudge. We, what means prejudge? To pass judgment on prematurely or without sufficient reflection or investigation. We think, oh, this is like that. This 100% is true. 100% is blue. Do you have doubts? No doubt. 100% is yellow. Doubt? No. But it's not the reality. Prejudge. But what is the truth? John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father by by, but by me. Who is the truth? Jesus is the truth. Jesus is Jesus is the truth. Uh, this is the most important paragraph from the from uh, for today. The most important, please. And I use different colors, and you will see one. So please pay attention, brother. Last month in Puslinj, we learned how to shine. Remember? How to be a light, how to shine. And sometimes in the church, we try to figure out or to find methods to reach people. Correct? Give them flyers, cooking classes, different kind of um, methods to reach people. And it's very good to do this. The Ministry of Healing, page 143, paragraph 3. Christ's method alone will give true success in reaching the people. Pay attention. Christ's method alone. What means alone? Only. We have another one? Other method? No. It's all alone. So Christ's method alone will give true success. What means true success? Because it can be a false success. <laughs> Only his method will give us the true success. And please pay attention. The Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. Give me one word for this sentence with red. One word for this. Let's try to think. So the Savior mingled, mingled with men as one who desired their good. One word. Yeah. Hmm? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, or no. I can say sociability. Can be sociability to in the middle of people, spending time with them, right? This is step number one. Step number one, to be in the middle of people. Second, he showed his sympathy for them. Do you know what sympathy means? What sympathy means? Who can answer? You? We know English better than me, so we can explain better. What means sympathy? Friendship. Yes, yes. Somebody else, let's see. Sim sympathy. Actually, sympathy. You know the etymology, the word? Etymology, correct? It's in English, etymology. So, sympathy actually is two words. Sim. And path. Sim means, for example, symphony. Sim. A lot of words start with sim. Together. Sim means together. 
sim means to get so symphony. Sim phony. Playing together, right? Simple. Sympathy. Sim means together and pathy. Pathos means feeling or pain or to sympathy means to feel with together. So your pain is my pain. That means sympathy. That means sympathy. your pain is my pain. If you cry, I will cry too. If you are happy, I will be happy too. That means sympathy. It's the second step. He showed his sympathy for them. Minister to their needs and won their confidence. Minister to their needs and won their confidence. You see? Imagine a family with problems. With an empty stomach. They don't have food. You go then, you visit them and you preach them Daniel 2. They need Daniel 2? No, it's, it's a good job, but they need something else. Different needs. You see? He showed his sympathy for them, ministered to their needs, and won their confidence. Then, the fourth step, then he paid them, follow me. You see, sometimes we jump. We want to jump. We met people and say, how are you? How is your name? Follow me. Say, come, come in my church. Do you know about the dress reform? Do you know about health reform? Do you know about that? Sometimes we jump, brother. Sometimes we jump. And I'm concerned about that with me and with all of you. Because it's written, the Christ method alone will give true success in reaching people. Can we use different methods? We can use, yes. We'll have success? No. No success. So please remember the four S. The four S. Sociability. Four S for reaching people. Sociability, the, quali the quality of being sociable. Sympathy. Right. Feeling of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune. Service, the action of helping or doing work for someone. Salvation is the fourth step, right? Preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. I will tell you an experience, it's a true experience. A young um, can canvasser, how is the word? It was a young man trying to sell books. It was in my country, in Romania, after the failing of communism in 1989. And he was so happy, oh, I will go and I will sell books. I want to work for God. And he went in the, in the countryside. And all day long he knocked on the doors. Hello, good, good morning, good morning. I have here books for you. What kind of books? About health? About uh, high blood pressure? Are you interested? No. About Jesus, about that. All day long, knocking to the doors. Not at all. You know how many books he sell? Zero. And he was so discouraged. Of God, it's, it's your work. What to do? It was the last house. He knocked to a poor house. I don't know if you know what means a poor house in my country. Poor house. Very poor. Very small. He knocked. It was an old man. Say hello. Hello. I have here books for you. Are you interested? What kind of books? About health, about God, about eternal life. Are you interested about eternal life? Come on. The, the old man answered. This is politic. He answered like that. He didn't know what means books. But the old man tell, tell to this guy, to this young man. What are you doing after, after this? Because it's, it's already night and can you stay with me? Yes, okay, I will stay with you. You can sleep with me here in the house. They ate together and at some point the, the old man told him, look, let's sleep here. I have only one bed and only one uh, pillow. Uh, not pillow, a blanket. Only one blanket and one pillow too. <laughs> so we will sleep in the same bed, but it's a very small bed. And we will sleep, my head it will be here and my feet here, feet here, and you will sleep your head here and you understand? To have enough space. Okay, let's let's go to sleep. They went to sleep after five minutes, the young man 
felt something very cold on his his face, like ice. Go, go, go. So what is this? Old man fits. So oh, what is this? And that kind of you know in the countryside. You know what it means. And the God tells him, now is the moment to do missionary work. What? Now is the moment to do missionary work for this old man. And he tried to he massage a little bit the, the feet, warm up a little bit. Difficult. Uh, and in the morning, in the morning, the old man said, come here, let's eat it something. And now, tell me something about your books. What is there? What is? You know, he opened his heart. Why? This is my question. Why? Because he showed him care, care and love. Brother, remember, sociability, sympathy, service, salvation. Romans 12, verse 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And with with them that weep. It's very important. There is need of coming close to the people by personal efforts. If less time were given to sermonizing and more time were spent in personal ministry, greater, resu greater results will be seen. More time to do what? Preaching? No. Service service more time service the poor are to be relieved the sick cared for the sorrowing and the buried comforted the ignorant instructed the inexperienced consulted consulate we are to weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice accompanied by the power of persuasion the power of prayer the power of love of God. This work will not, cannot be without fruit. It's amazing power. It's amazing power. This work will not and cannot be without fruit. This method. Jesus Christ method. Jesus Christ method. But you know, sometimes we we have, we judge, sometimes we think, this guy, oh, no, no way. It was in an airport, it's the last experience. In an airport, uh, a young woman, very educated woman, with a book, reading a book. And he had, he had a pack with biscuits. And there in the airport, near to her, was um, an old man. And uh, the lady, this lady, this young woman, opened the, his pack, her pack with biscuits, and she started to eat one. She, she took one, and the old man looked at her, he smiled, that kind of old man, very... Um, I say very good, very generous. Yes, kind person. He smiled and he took one, one biscuit. He didn't ask. The lady, she took another one, and the old man smiling, right? Didn't ask. Her. Didn't ask another. One. The woman was very upset. She, they didn't talk. But it was a tension there. Old man smiling, and the, the woman screaming inside of her. She took another one, and he smiled. He took another one. by one, one by one, one by one, half and half. And at some point, it was the last one, the last one. And the old man took, took, and he said, half and half. Huh? They didn't talk. He didn't talk. Yeah. 
She didn't tell him anything, but in her heart, in her mind, imagine. It was a storm. You don't know what means a storm in a woman had. Blame him and judge him and tell him different. But not with words. No. Educated. You know, sometimes we're educated. We don't talk. But inside, man. After one hour in the in the airplane, she opened her purse. And in her purse, a bag with biscuits. And she was like, but I already ate it. Oh, this is mine. And I ate his pack. She didn't realize. She didn't realize. But she judged him. She blamed him. And she was so upset. But she judged him according with the truth? No. According with the reality? No. According with her reality. Brother, sometimes we have our reality. But remember, the truth. Who is the truth? Jesus. Only Jesus. If we have Jesus, if Jesus is with us, we have the truth. We'll stop to judge, we'll stop to talk, we'll stop. just to work, just to help, only to help, only to help. John 13 is the last verse for you, two verses. John 13, 34 and 35, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, so important. For me, this verse is amazing. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If, if we do what? If you have loved one to another. By this. By this. I don't want to say giving fires is, is bad. It's very good to do missionary work, to do everything. But. Only by this, all men will know that we are God's disciples. If we have love one to another. Brother, it's not other way. It's not other way. We can try different ways, but without success. Please remember this verse, John 13. And remember this new commandment. New commandment is love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. My prayer for me and for all of you, brethren, is to understand what means to follow Jesus, to follow his steps, footsteps. What means to, to have love and to love exactly like, like, like him. We can do this only if we accept him in our lives. So this is my prayer for all of you and for me, for myself, to accept Jesus in our lives. And to, somebody said, we love but we, don't, we cannot show. Not only to love in our heart, not, don't keep for you, brother and sister, don't keep for you. Let's love and let's show, let's show this. God help us and may God bless you, all of you, and thank you again for your attention and for your participation here. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Brother George. We could learn a lot from this sermon. We will go now to our closing song, our closing hymn, 296. The closing is 296. When we walk with the Lord.
We have new down proposed to where you invite us at the end to make the comments. Thank you for this uh, beautiful uh, service and this sermon that we had that teaches us uh, that we need to um, love and uh, not judge. Consider people as um, uh, our neighbors. And Lord, we would like to follow your steps. And we ask you to please give us your grace to forgive us our past sins and uh, our past habits. Help us to overcome our, um, our difficulties and our weaknesses and help us to um, have your love in us. Help us to bring people to you following the right steps. And uh, we thank you for this message. And we ask you may please bless uh, the speaker and uh, the uh, assembly here. We ask and pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We came to the end of our divine service. Thank you all for coming. We'll have to get a couple of lunch. So please stay for the lunch and at 3 o'clock we will have a young meeting.